Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marks, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. Got a message for you, very important message. Extended an invitation for those of you who need this message right now. I would like to start with the young people. Young people, you've been set up. You definitely need this message. The helpless, the hopeless, the jobless, the homeless, those of you who are struggling, you know what you're experiencing every day. And every day you detest it. And every day you're waiting for something to happen. And it seems as if it's never going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why, but I'm going to show you at the same time how to make it happen. First of all, let's understand facts. Mankind is the devil on earth. I want to say that again. Again, mankind, human beings, they are the devil on earth. The devil on earth is man without God. Let me say that again. The devil on earth is man without God. He is an evil man, evil human beings. All the evil in the world is due to evil man. Let me say that again. All the evil in the world is due to evil man. All the good in the world is due to godly man. Identity. An invisible power known as God creates an earth, a home, for a group of living life forms. Some are birds, some are fish, and various animals, and humans. God provided that all living creation would be able to survive. For mankind to survive, it would require food and clothing and shelter and education and health care and transportation and infrastructure and anything they may imagine that is made and stored in the reservoir of goods and services from the natural resources stored in the earth, stored on the earth, stored above the earth, some seen and some unseen. Basic human rights to all. That is what it is known as, basic human rights. All. On the earth, above the earth, seen and unseen, including access to all things created at the hands of man. Human beings, we were made to be blessed. Now, to be equitable, everyone that benefits from such resources were given and are given a responsibility and required to participate in the process of creating and producing all that they require in such an abundance, ladies and gentlemen, that no human is denied any of the basic human rights for their needs, their wants, and their desires are all met. Can you beat that? Isn't that a wonderful God? Or at least isn't that a wonderful message about that God? Here are the promises. As in heaven, so on earth. Humans, you and I are to live in peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness. And our dreams, well, they are to become living realities. And this, my friends, is wonderful as well. Now, what are the requirements for the fantastic heavenly lifestyle that I've just introduced you to? To receive and experience, humans must we must honor one God, a God that is invisible, yet is permitted that God may live within. I'm telling you, that God is to live that we see invisibly, is to be made alive through us. We have an expression of a renewed mind, born again. Renewed mind, my friends, a renewed mind. And this is what they refer to when you've heard the expression, 
born again. Each one is to allow that invisible God to live within. I'm re re repeating this. Allowing that God to be expressed and experienced in every life in its many forms. All of us, whoever we are, whatever we are, however we are, we can allow that invisible God to live in us. People will know it by what the reflection is. The way and loyalty is expressed to God. Now here, a lot of folks don't know anything about how you express your loyalty to God. You heard all kinds of things. But the way and loyalty that is expressed to God is in how everyone treats each one as they would be treated by everyone. You see, we protect one another. because We know what we want. We want our heavenly life. We want our fantastic living. And the only way we can have it is by making sure that everybody else got no problem in theirs coming from us. And we allow that God to live in us that will make sure that that happens. Okay, living on this earth, doing your dream career. You love it. Everything needed for you to do is here. The resources, what you do is needed. People everywhere appreciates it. And you are living your dream. Now, I wanted you to understand what you have not heard. I have just told you how you're supposed to be living here. How you are supposed to be living here today. And you can just grow better and better from that. But in order to do that, you got to be a godly man. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. There's a problem. There's a major problem here. And that problem is in rejecting God. The problem is that man rose up and rejected an invisible God. No one on the throne. Man wasn't going for that. Doing this response, mankind expressed the anti-will of God for humankind. Choosing to sit on the throne as God, but only a God of evil by not God's law. Man became evil with intent, sitting on the throne, concocting a way to claim all natural resources and everything God has made, he wants to claim as their own. All identified resources have claimed or have been claimed by some, one, or a governor. Evil, I'm talking to you about evil now. Evil man has lied. Evil man has deceived with intent to divide the population into supporting and being a supporter of forthcoming evils. And through its policy and exploitation of others by evil practices. Now, this is to prove authority. This is to prove who's better. This is to prove who is more deserving. Evil man has no idea what God is trying to do. Who taught him? Here are the tools that evil used. Evil sick man to believe everything is okay and fine. You go through the world today, everybody's going along, everything is fine. And it's fair. Now, Man works for the crooks that rob them. Evil man uses lies and deception and stealing and cheating. Some got, some not. Crime and violence, hatred and racism, bigotry, terror and war. All the evil on earth is perpetrated by evil man. Mankind is the evil devil on earth. We human beings are the evil devils on earth. All of us. The babies that come into the world are exempt at that moment. 
But after they get here, they begin being taught to become an evil monster, knowing not the love of God, nor even thinking of it. Now, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Some examples are current, and I'd like to share some of that with you. And it, it's in line with the same corruption in the beginning when we look in the Bible and hear that story and stuff back in the Bible. Well, the Bible is put together the same way things are put together today. Part truth, and part makeups. And this has been happening ever since. In Florida and other places like Florida, there are people who want to hide the past and any history that might reveal the deception that they perpetrated. So what they do, they burn books, they ban books, they discontinue certain studies, they deny the history of various groups to be known or taught, and the current information that is being prepared for whoever is living is corruption, lies. Don't ex talk about slavery. It never existed. Or if it did, it wasn't that bad. All of these things, my friends. George Floyd, everybody knows, the world knows about George Floyd. January 6th, the world knows about January 6th. This is when they were attempting to steal the United States, President of the United States were attempted, attempting to steal the election promising to destroy anybody that stands up in the name of truth against the lies that he perpetuates. Now, the last wage increase for the citizens of this evil system, 2009, I hear, and the prices have been rising every day. A 10 cent candy bar yesterday called $3 a day. I walked in the store yesterday and I saw Fifth Avenue. Ah, looked at it and I saw two for six dollars. Put it back down. Well, this is what we call robbery. You go to the gas pump. Gas prices keep going up. You only get one gallon, but the price keeps going up. If the prices keep going up, that doesn't give any more gas. Does it make more gas available to others? No. What it does is make you, you, pay more money for that little gas and getting robbed and the people who can't afford to pay that high price totally robbed because they can get no gas at all. See what I want to do ladies and gentlemen is to justify basic human rights for all. Your friends, your family, your church, your politicians, and everyone. Every human being born to this planet earth is taught and trained by this system or the system wherever they are. But the people must be born again with a renewed mind before they can understand or know the things of God for themselves. Yet a pure heart will protect you. The ways of mankind are corrupt and will never offer satisfaction to the population and could never meet God's objectives. Yet everyone at the highest level to the lowest on the social ladder have been trained and indoctrinated into a mass evil system against and destructive against God's crew, the people. Now, as a result, the only truth that's respected are miracles. God using someone to share the whole truth. And they are obligated to do so. In summary, I want to give you a summary. Everybody on earth come here designed to be here. To have no worries. Their worries will come, but they're like the problems of life that come. Things and opportunities to figure it out and fix it. That everybody is satisfied. This is when it works for God. This is God's plan. And you haven't been told that, ladies and gentlemen. I know you haven't. And when you told that, it was 
talking about. I want you to know that here is God's way. I just explained to you God's way. And I didn't say one thing about about any money. Because what you're doing is what you came here to do. It was fed. The tree comes here to grow. The grass comes here to grow. The flowers come here to grow and be beautiful. The food comes to grow and feed whoever and whatever eats it. All of that has its purpose and it does it. We as human beings come here to protect one another, to care for one another, to see that everyone's needs and desires and wants are met. Why? Because we represent God. We represent God when we do that. And the peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and stuff that comes from that is the reward that comes from respecting God through respecting one another. Suffering for nothing. The sun is always shining and when it's not, it's still shining. God is in control and God is in you and you have handled it or you are handling it. But then comes along a, a liar, somebody like Donald Trump. Split the nation up. Black people again, black people and white people can't get, to, can't get together. All kind of things going on. Donald Trump just lying out of his every hole he got. He's just lying. And half of the nation, a third of the nation just buying into these lies because this is how they were raised. This is how they were introduced. Donald Trump is just an expression of the hell that we that I'm telling you about today. Those senators, those representatives who buy into those lies, they are an expression of this hell that we're living in today. And if we don't fix this hell, if some of us don't straighten up, the whole nation is going to be burning up with fire, bombs and everything, because they don't know how to love. They don't know the way to peace. And so what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you see all of this, then I want you to know that it doesn't have to be all of this. It can be something brand new, but in order for it to be brand new, you've got to change your mind. You can't keep thinking about hating white folks. You can't keep thinking about hating black people. You can't think, think about having money. You can bring an AI into the world, making people think that you're coming to help them. People know what you're coming to do. You're coming to try to control the world, willing to kill and, and take away the people's duties and responsibilities and have some AI do it, and people not need it anymore in your you and so you're killing them off. Oh man, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we can st stop all of this, even artificial intelligence. It's destined to destroy you because it was made by a destroyed mind, man, a d evil devil man. But you can change that by being righteous. See, if you become righteous. And anything that an artificial intelligence does that is not righteous, it exposes itself. Now, the question is, how will you deal with it? Because what they would do then is the same thing that evil men, devilish men, all of us, are doing today. When I say all of us, I know many of you say, well, I'm not doing that. But see, somebody is. And when they are doing it and you're sitting by allowing it to happen and doing nothing about it, then you are responsible. But you might say, what could you do about it? You didn't even know it was happening. But here I am today telling you it's happening. But I don't just have to say these words. Look at the people whose cars are sitting in their yard because they can't get them fixed. Look at the folks who don't have jobs. Look at the folks who are suffering. Look at the pain and because you can't get your education paid for. Look at the pain you, can, you got, can't go to the hospital. Hey, baby. Come on. Come on. It doesn't take a genius to know that. That's simple life. But I hope you can receive it as that and use it for whatever you're being led to do it. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying thank you so very much and have a wonderful day.